Okay. Hi. Oh my gosh, you guys are such a cute family. Oh gosh, that picture, that was taken in an amusement park. That's not the real Bigfoot. <laughs> the real Bigfoot. Oh my God, you're so funny. Yeah, sure, okay, let's go with he was making a joke. So you guys, speaking of families, we're thinking of starting one of our own. Amazing. Congratulations. Oh, how are you gonna do it? What's the plan? Actually, we wanted to ask you something about that. There comes a point in every gay man's life when a lesbian couple asks him for his sperm. Unless you're Mitchell and me. Yeah. All of our friends have been asked while we have been cruelly overlooked. It's painful. It's like not getting picked to play kickball. Well, that never happened to me. I was my kickball team's captain. Uh, well, only after our star broke his leg and had to be put down. He was a... A mule. A mile away. Go ahead, ask us anything. Well, you know we think the world of you guys. Yes. And we you. First of all, would you judge us if we didn't adopt? Is that selfish? Um, no. no. <laughs> oh, it's such a relief. Now, the next step is finding someone who can... Donate. Yes. <laughs> you know, we don't want anyone involved financially or otherwise, so we were just thinking of going to the sperm bank. It's a good option, mm. but make sure the janitors are handsome because you know they have the keys to everything. Well, we also thought about asking my brother. Oh, you don't want to go down that road. It's too complicated. My daddy, my uncle, my daddy, my uncle. It's Chinatown. Yeah, you want someone that, you know, with a little distance, that you know and, and trust. Who's attractive and healthy. And who hasn't had mental illness in their family in at least a generation and a half. Well, that's the dream. <laughs> well, dreams can come true. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, thank you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if you think of someone, will you let us know? Lesbians. Here's your cappuccino. Uh, None for me. I don't need to be sharp to experience the empty void that is life without Sherry Shaker. What are these little drawings in the milk? That's me staring out a window. I made the stars with my tears. Hey, Poppy, if you can survive me driving three blocks with you on the roof of my car, you can survive this. When did that happen? It wasn't gonna work out with Sherry anyway. She's Canadian. They have ducks on their money. They sell milk in a bag. I'll be in my room if anyone needs me. Who am I kidding? No one needs me. Hi, Bobby, these things have a way of working out. I promise. You promise? What did you do? I called in a favor. Look, again, I thought we were even. I need you to do something for Manny. You'll mean the world to him. Okay, I guess. I want you to go to Sherry's improv show. Talk him up to her. I want her to regret breaking up with him. No, not that. Anything but improv. Improv is no different than getting waterboarded. Just stay calm, go to a pleasant place in your mind, and remember that you're not actually dying. Fine, I'll do it. Goodbye. Go back to sleep. Why'd you bring a crowbar? <laughs>